Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be covering question number 12, which is part of IC specimen paper 2024 for accountancy. If you want to join online classes to understand and clarify your doubts, to cover your curriculum and for a crash course in accountancy IC syllabus, do let me know in the comments box below. Let's get started with this sum. This is a sum of common size income statement where we are asked to prepare the common size statement based on the information which are given here. The first item that we have is revenue from operations. So let's put, put that here. Revenue from operations. The amount given is 4 lakhs. Right. Then we have other income under that so other income if you see interest on investments that's my other income for the business that's other income so i have my total income here that's coming to four lakh ten thousand All right, after that, let's write the expenses. Under that, there is no specific heading for expenses which are given, so we can just write expenses and write the amount here. Clearly, 15%, 50% of revenue from operations, so revenue from operations is 4 lakh into 50% which is 0.5 2 lakh are my expenses then we don't have anything else straight away let's write total expenses that is nothing but 2 lakhs only after that we get our net profit before tax which is profit before tax, you can see. Profit before tax. And which is a straight away calculation of total income minus total expenses. In the brackets, you can show that. Two minus four. That's coming to four lakh 10 minus two lakh, two lakh 10, right? Then we have our tax amount. Tax is given already at the rate 40%. Okay. That comes to 2,10 into 0.4, which is 40%. And that gives our net profit after tax. All right. That comes to 2 lakh 10 minus 84,000, 1 lakh 26,000. Coming to the next column that we have, which is the percentage of revenue, 31st March. So, for common size statement, income statement, the revenue from operations is taken as the common base for calculating percentage for all of these figures okay so 4 lakh divided by 4 lakh into 100 so that's 100 percent okay then same thing 10,000 divided by 40,000 into 100 is 3 percent that's the percentage for that similarly 4 lakh 10 divided by 4 lakh into 100 so for each of the figures here, you have to divide them by 4 lakh, which is the common base, common denominator for income statement. So in 200, that comes to 50%. For each of the figures, you have to repeat this calculation. Okay. 
don't get confused just straight away the common denominator will be your revenue from operations so this is the complete income statement for three mark sum this is how you're going to do this if you have any questions do let me know in the comments box below if you want to get notified whenever a new video is shared do click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon share this video with your friends who can benefit out of it thanks for watching guys we'll catch you all in the next video with the next sum